Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode number 70, Magnum Legacy, Eve Arnold. Eve Arnold was born in Philadelphia in 1912 and died just short of her 100th birthday in London, England in 2012. She came to photography in her 30s, in fact in her mid-30s, and had her first big break when she was published in Picture Post in 1951, when she was coming up for 40 years old. And that's really something to think about, isn't it? Uh, she was the first woman to join Magnum, becoming a full member in 1957, and this book was published in her honour in 2015, and was fittingly the first in a planned series called Magnum Legacy. It's slightly bigger than A4 size, the book. It has 192 pages, colour and black and white. And as you can see, it's got a lot of text. There's sort of essays which go with everything. And it forms a detailed account of her life and career, as well as presenting her some of her most well-known photography, it must be said, uh, within that kind of format. And I especially like to see the contact sheets and examples of the context that the photographs were used in at the time. So we see like magazine and newspaper cuttings and we see how the work was used. And I really love to see that. Uh, her use of colour and black and white is equally successful, and she's an inspirational woman, it must be said. Throughout the book, we see famous faces alongside causes and things that she was very passionate about, and she talks about being a passionate photographer. I've got her book about Marilyn Monroe and plan to feature that someday. It is tempting to hold her up as a great woman photographer, but I'd just like to think of her as simply one of the best photographers ever. Uh, in the book, there's a very interesting part where they document uh, a speech or a talk that she was giving when she was working in China, and uh, she was explaining what who she was and what she'd been doing there, and she said, I now want to list 10 fundamental rules that I've worked out for myself, which I used on this trip. I know they're simple basic rules, but I thought they might interest you. Rule one, focus on the eyes. Number two, do not be afraid of slow speeds and wide open apertures. Number three, the maximum sharpness of a lens is usually between 4.5 and 5.6, so the myth about everything being sharpest at 16 or 22 is a myth. Four, the idea of shooting in brilliant sun should be questioned, unless you want particular contrast. For portraits, it produces squints and harsh shadows. Five, for colour, shadowless lighting is very often best. Wait for the cloud going across the sun. Generally, I shoot outdoors for both portraiture and landscape very early day and very late day. I love landscape done at dawn and at dusk. 6. Do not be afraid to shoot in the shadows. For instance, the subject in a doorway with the light from the street or indoors using the window light. 7. The difference between a fine portrait and an ordinary photograph can be a single gesture, the movement of a hand, the flicker of an eye. Watch for the gesture and use it. 8. Very often an interesting street photograph is the sheer accident of the photographer being in the right place at the right time. Train your reflexes to move at speed. The difference between the fine photographer and the hack is that the good one knows how to take advantage of the accident. 9. To avoid self-consciousness on the part of the sitter, set a situation. Give the subject something to do. For instance, if you're photographing a doctor, follow him on his rounds. Of course, if it is Chairman Mao you're shooting, it's more difficult. I solved the problem of the Queen of England by following her around for a day on tour, and when I did a story on Mrs Gandhi, I followed her on an election campaign for two weeks. 10. And perhaps most importantly, that was my interjection, not hers, but I do think it might be perhaps most importantly, ask yourself constantly what it is you're trying to say. Do you love what you see? Then say it with love. Your picture should reflect what you believe. If it's war, poverty, disaster you are photographing, and you loathe it, then say it with hate. Remember, it is the photographer and not the camera that is the instrument. At the time of recording in the UK, at least, you can find this book online for less than half of the RRP, and it was not a particularly expensive book. Less than half price, absolute bargain. Uh, it's a worthy addition to anybody's bookshelf, I would say. Uh, it's a great introduction to her work and is a worthy addition to her legacy. I do have affiliate links uh, in the comments below, so if you wanted to use those, I would get a small amount of commission if you if you bought using those, and I would thank you very much for that. But yeah, it, it really is a great book, and it's available at the moment, particularly at a really, really very good price so I heartily recommend it to you. Magnum Legacy, Eve Arnold. What an absolute legend. Brilliant photographer. Really enjoyed looking through that, and that's kind of inspired me uh, to do that video about her Marilyn Monroe photographs, the book that I've got upstairs, 
and we're going to be looking at a couple more amazing female photographers just coincidental i've just picked them all off the bookshelf at the same time uh, over the next couple of episodes so that's definitely one to look out for if you like maybe a slightly more arty approach and another amazing amazing just all-round photographer who was there right from the very beginning of uh, of all of those guys and girls working in paris i'm going to take this out So I look forward to that next time and I'll see you very soon. Magnum Legacy, Eve Arnold. What an absolute legend. Brilliant photographer. Really enjoyed looking through that. And that's kind of inspired me uh, to do that video about her Marilyn Monroe photographs, the book that I've got upstairs. And we're going to be looking at a couple more amazing female photographers. Just coincidental. I've just picked them all off the bookshelf at the same time uh, over the next couple of episodes. So that's definitely one to look out for. So I look forward to that next time and I'll see you very soon.